during this crazy time, how are you and your family doing? You know, has there been, you know, anything that you've been up to, spending extra quality time with them? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, we just, uh, we can't really go anywhere. So we just go out and like nature trails and stuff like that and try to see, like, try to stay away from people, but see a bunch of animals. That's basically what we've been doing for months now. So. Now this is a perfect opportunity for you to open up your zoo and hire me as your zookeeper. Yeah, we just need more land. We're working on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, don't forget to call plan. me. You don't forget to call me. I, I got you. You're okay. the first on the list. It's good. Okay. Perfect. We're going to have quite a crew, too. It's perfect. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. I'll work every single hour of the day. You don't even have to ask me twice. I'll do everything. Okay. Uh, last week on Raw, you had Seth Rollins on the KO show. Uh, is there any unfinished business between you and the Monday Night Messiah? Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's always unfinished business between us. You know, it's like <laughs> never ending. But, uh... It's because he, he puts his foot in his mouth every week. So eventually, you know, you got to come back and uh, and settle him. But now him going after Rey Mysterio the way he had, I, I have a lot of respect for Rey Mysterio. There's very few people in wrestling that I respect as much as him. So uh, Now tell me why. Why does, Ray, why does Ray have a special place in your heart? You know, he's just uh, – he's a legend, obviously. I think he's probably right up there. If you were going to ask me the best wrestler of all time, it's very hard to pick for me between him and Shawn Michaels. But um, he's just hes just a great guy, too. That's the thing. He's so great in the ring and outside of the ring. He's just an awesome dude to be around. So, uh, you know, he checks all the boxes of what a good person is to me. Uh, and he's a fantastic professional wrestler and somebody everyone should have a lot of respect for. So uh, it's, you know, I but it goes beyond respect for me. I mean, I'm, I'm just a huge fan of his. I've been I tweeted about it last week after I, I, ta I teamed with him on Raw. 80% of my time is spent in Rey Mysterio t-shirts that I have. And, you know, I, I, I'm just such a huge fan of his. And when he came back to WWE, I was so psyched to know that I'd get to be around him and maybe get to work with him. Uh, so it's been, it's been a blast to have him around. And now, you know, to get to kind of uh, help him out with Seth, that's, uh, that's very nice. Yeah, now you have his back. I do. I love hearing when people are, you know, obviously great people outside of the ring, but inside of the ring, what makes him next level? Why do you respect him so much in his wrestling technique? Uh, you know, that maybe if a young person was watching him, what they could learn from a Rey Mysterio. I mean, I don't know how you watch him and not learn. And obviously his style is very unique. You know, it's not a style that everybody can do. And it's not like something that I was watching when I was younger and thinking, oh, this is how I, I, I'd wrestle if I could. But it's just he's never had a bad match I, I i mean i if you can find one you know let me know but i certainly have never had and i remember going to shows so one specific match uh that i remember very well i went to uh i, I believe i want to say it was in cornwall ontario i went to a house show I drive to all the house shows you know and he wrestled jamie noble and uh he was brand new to wwe at the time he had been there for maybe a month or two and I already, I kind of knew of him from WCW, but I never really watched him because I never watched WCW. I didn't like WCW. They were the enemy for me. So when he came here and then, you know, he had the matches with Kurt Angle and, and then uh, to see him live against Jamie Noble, that was my first time seeing him live. He blew my mind. Just how athletic and how, um, how easy everything seemed to him. And now it's almost 20 years later. And it's like nothing... You know what I mean? He still moves the same way. He's still just as fast. He's still as fluid. He's still as uh, as graceful. He's just, he's an anomaly. And, uh, you know, if I can be half as, obviously I'm not the same style, but if I, I'm already less than half what he is now. Uh, but if I can be half as uh, limber, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, at his age now, then I, you know, and, and it's already not the case. I'm not even as limber as he is now, but whatever. He's just something else. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. That's, I'm sure if Ray heard that, you know, it would, he would appreciate that so much. It was so nice of you, Kevin. Now, he chose an eye for an eye stipulation for his match against yeah. Seth Rollins at Extreme Rules. If you had the opportunity to pick a stipulation uh, match at Extreme Rules, what would it be and why? You know, I've always wanted to do like a three stages of hell match. Like, you know, Triple H and Steve Austin had one uh, years ago, and I'm sure they've happened since then but you know like three different stipulations for for a two out of three falls match and you know the first stipulation it, you know it's just you choose three different stipulations and maybe you get through all three of them maybe you don't maybe you only use two but i'd love to do something like that eventually uh you know and the stipulations are obviously 
you know, I, I don't know, cage match, uh, you know, no holds barred. Like the, the, mm -hmm. the last one would have to be last man standing, I think, because if you can't get, you know, a decisive winner in the first two, then it only makes sense that the last one should be uh, whoever can't keep going anymore loses. So I think something like that would be cool. Amazing. Okay, this week on Raw, you'll step into the ring with Seth Rollins one on one. Uh, you faced him before one of my favorite matches at WrestleMania 36. I'll talk to you about it in a second. Uh, having faced him before, is it easier to prepare for this match or does it make it more difficult, uh, you know, trying to come up with a strategy to take him down? I mean, yeah, it, it, I, I know what to expect from him. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing is I don't think this time they're going to have the giant sign for me to jump off. That's so what I was going to talk to you about. Yeah. I might have to re reassess my strategy, but I think I'm going to go in with the same mentality because it worked the first time, so why not try again? Okay. I wish you could have seen my reaction when I was at home watching that. What went through your mind when you jumped off that sign? Because I was like, I actually <laughs> would break every bone in my body, and you're just such a champ. Like, you, you're the type of superstar that gets everyone... If there was people watching that, everyone would have gone insane. Everyone. <laughs> Well, I actually did break one doing it. I think that's what I, I, I fractured my ankle. <laughs> I don't, here's the thing. I don't know when I did in the match. I, I know it was in that match and I can only assume it was jumping off the giant sign because I can't pinpoint when it happened. I didn't even know it happened until, uh, you know, I came home after the match and, you know, WrestleMania took place 10 minutes away from my house this year. So I didn't even bother changing. I walked out of the ring and got in my car and drove here. So I, I didn't take my boots off, nothing. I just, I was home 15 minutes after the bell rang. <laughs> so, and then I took my boots off in my living room and I noticed <laughs> my ankle was huge. I'm like, oh, something happened in this match. <laughs> uh, so I did break a bone, but as far as go, what go, went through my mind, honestly, so uh, a little bit of a backstory is, you know, it was obviously WrestleMania was supposed to happen at Raymond James Stadium. And I went there in February before, you know, we, the pandemic hit and we, we knew that, you know, we found that WrestleMania was going to take place at the Performance Center. And I went there in February with my dad and my son for a monster truck show at that stadium. And when I saw the giant pirate ship that they have as part of their set or decor, or whatever you want to call it, I remember thinking, okay, I don't know what I'm doing at WrestleMania this year, but somehow I'm going to find a way to jump off that thing. So that was in my head. And then obviously the show got moved. And then my match with Seth was made official. And then, uh, you know, I got to the building on the day of WrestleMania and I saw the sign. I was like, oh, if I have a chance, I'm jumping off that instead. Oh and it gosh. worked out. Uh, uh, yeah, but, you know, I, I paid a price for it. But I, I think it's also a WrestleMania moment from, you know, just forget about this year, obviously. This year's WrestleMania will be remembered forever for just the circumstances it happened in, regardless of the matches, right? But everybody worked so hard. But I think it's a WrestleMania moment, even if it had happened on any other show. Like, you'd never see somebody fly past the WrestleMania sign, you know? So I'm pretty happy about that. Well, I mean, it's funny. You, as you're saying this to me, I'm like, if I see a sign, there's no way. The first thing that pops into my mind is, oh, I'm, I'm going to jump off of it. And that's what yeah, came you know, my mind. Do you, do, you, do you watch Seinfeld? No, I, I, I'm it? sorry. I, it's okay. So everyone it's ripped on me for that. It's okay. There's an episode where uh, one of the character's boyfriends is they're in like a movie theater and he looks up and says, you think if I jumped off that balcony, I'd get hurt? It, that's, that's been me for years. Like I'll see Amazing. place, I'll just see things I'm like, I wonder if I get hurt if I jumped off that. And now over the last, uh, I guess, two years, I've just been able to test my theories in WWE. I don't, it doesn't have to be fantasy anymore. It's just I can, I can find out. To, you're meant to be doing it quickly. How do you not know that you broke your ankle? Like, is, is that just adrenaline in the moment? Like, if you don't even remember at what point, like, you must not be feeling pain. Yeah, I don't know. It was fractured. So I, I, from what I understand, a fracture is a lot less, uh, you know, painful than a broken ankle. But it's certainly not ideal either. Uh, you know, I certainly knew the next day when I was trying to walk my dogs that, oh, there's something very wrong with my ankle. Uh, but uh, in the moment, yeah, I don't know if it's the boot, the adrenaline. Uh, but, you know, it's funny because I had, a, I had a feeling that for some reason that night I should have my ankles taped, which I usually don't do. But before that match, I asked the trainer to tape my ankles. Okay. And I guess, it, yeah, something in me told me you should take care of your ankles for this match. And sure enough, I fractured it. So if I had if my ankles weren't taped, I might have very well broken it. So, you know, who knows? You're it just worked. Man, you. good for you. Uh, this is ex guys, anyone want
in uh, Monday Night Raw to watch Kevin Owens. Kevin, I hope you take down Seth. We all love you Thank here you. in Canada. You know that. Uh, and maybe when all of this is no uh, over and life goes back to normal, we can have you back on Aftermath TV in our studio. Yeah, I would love that. You know, I was just watching old shows from, you know, last few years, and I was watching, uh, like, a, a Raw that happened in Toronto where I wrestled Seth, actually. Yeah. Oh, there you Man, go. I miss, I miss the Toronto crowd, so I really can't wait to get back there. Well, they love you. And I, I guarantee you, if there was a crowd for that moment at WrestleMania 36, it would have been the biggest pop because I, I was on my couch like, he's not going to he's not gonna do it. He's not going to. And then you did it. And I was like, oh, my goodness. That was crazy. It's crazy, Thanks. crazy. You're welcome. Okay, stay healthy. I hope your family stays healthy and safe. And hopefully talk to you soon. Thanks. Same to you. Okay, Take care. Bye. Bye.